My name is Darius, and I was the third king of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, ruling from 522 BCE to 486 BCE. I was born in around 550 BCE to a powerful noble family, the son of Hystaspes and Ashama. Though I had royal lineage from the Achaemenid dynasty, I was not the immediate heir to the throne. That title belonged to Cambyses II, son of the mighty Cyrus the Great, founder of the Persian Empire. Cyrus was one of history's most remarkable rulers, forging the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen through a series of brilliant military campaigns. His reign was one of tolerance and wisdom, as exemplified by his freeing of the Jews from Babylonian captivity and allowing exiled groups to return to their homelands. Sadly, his life was cut short in battle against a nomadic tribe in modern-day Uzbekistan in 530 BCE. Upon Cyrus' death, the throne passed to his son Cambyses II. The transition of power was stable at first, but Cambyses grew increasingly paranoid and erratic over time. In a fit of madness in 522 BCE, he killed his brother Smyrtus and any potential rivals to the throne. But his reign did not last long after that horrific act. In the summer of that same year, while returning from an ill-fated campaign against Egypt, Cambyses died under mysterious circumstances, with rumors swirling that he had taken his own life. This ushered in a period of chaos and uncertainty in the empire. An imposter took the throne, falsely claiming to be Smyrtus in an attempt to seize power. But the lie could not last. A group of noble families inside the court, including my own, uncovered the deception and plotted against the usurper. After a fierce battle, we prevailed and the false Smyrtus was overthrown and executed. With the line of succession murky and the empire desperate for stable leadership, I was an unexpected but popular choice to take the throne as the new king. As a royal descendant of the dynasty's founder Achaemenes, I had a legitimate claim, and the people rallied behind my leadership. Thus began my reign as Darius I, or Darius the Great. My first order of business was to solidify control of the vast territories of the Persian Empire, which stretched from the Indus River in modern Pakistan all the way to Libya and the Black Sea region. Some of the outlying provinces and subject peoples had taken advantage of the recent chaos to revolt against Persian rule. With a combination of military might and political savvy, I was able to reassert central control and remind these territories of Persian power and sovereignty. One of my greatest early achievements was the reconquest of the wealthy province of Egypt in 518 BCE. The Egyptians had revolted during the civil war, casting off the yoke of Persian rule. Gathering a massive military force, I led the invasion myself, outmaneuvering and crushing all resistance from the Egyptian forces. Their defeat was so total that Egypt remained a obedient and productive part of the empire for the rest of my reign without any further uprisings. With a firm grip on the throne and the empire's territories, I was able to turn my attention to ambitious economic policies and public works projects on a grand scale. As a skilled administrator, I reorganized the nation into governed satrapies overseen by my chosen leaders. This centralization of power increased efficiency and taxation revenue flowing into the imperial coffers. I understood the importance of maintaining the massive network of roads, bridges, and infrastructure across the sprawling territories to facilitate trade, troop movements, and communication. I oversaw the construction of new highways, canals, and fortifications to bolster our defenses and promote commerce within the empire. My crowning infrastructure achievement was the construction of a new capital city at Persepolis, located in modern-day Iran. This magnificent ceremonial capital, with its iconic gateways, palace, and reception halls, took decades to complete but stood as an astounding monument to the glory and power of my empire. The palace was adorned with intricate carvings and artistic wonders that left visitors from across the known world in awe. 